sleek, modern, contemporary, functional. Exposed brick. I really like black and white and the monochrome look. It's just a bit like bachelor paddy. My style is a little bit warmer. I like heritage colours, herringbone floor, more paper, more traditional in keeping with the house. But I'm a bit concerned it's going to be a bit like going around your nan's house. Well, we really do live in an Edwardian thing. house, that's why we bought an old house. We don't live in Edwardian times though, do we? <laughs> <laughs> we just can't make a decision. I've got ideas, Scott's got ideas, and we've just completely lost the plot now. When we first visited, the hallway was a boring, bland space. Caroline wanted to go for a more traditional Edwardian vibe with loads of colour and pattern. Scott was after a more macho, pared-back, monochrome look. Cunley and I designed something that was both traditional and welcoming. And now... They've made it come to life. Ooh! Uh... Wow. Change, wow, big, big change. Yeah. It looks great, guys. Feels so inviting and, and warm in here. It just does what a hall should do. You wanted it traditional in here, Caroline, and Scott, you wanted to go monochrome. Yeah. This floor, yeah. I feel like, ticks both yeah. those boxes perfectly. It looks like it's always been here. Yeah. It does. Yeah. And the dado rail is then? Yes. Feels really refreshed and yeah. contemporary as well. Should we have a little look in the utility? The old cramped kitchen squashed into the middle of the house was Caroline and Scott's least favourite room. Caroline wanted to turn it into a luxurious WC and utility. Scott wanted a cool urban home office. We created a practical place for shoes and coats, a laundry area and all important WC. Will the reality be as good? With the late substitution of a sink for a tumble dryer, it's everything we imagined and more. By giving Caroline this utility room, Scott lost out on the super cool home office that he put into his project. But to make it up to him, I found the perfect place for a mini version. It does actually work really well. Now I can just sort of rock up there with my laptop, get little yeah. bits of work done, and um, as George starts secondary, he'll, he'll have a little space and keep an eye on him mm. doing his homework. Their old dining room was detached from the kitchen and the rest of the house. Caroline wanted to build an extension on the back and put in a pretty traditional kitchen with pastel colours. Scott was dead set against an extension and wanted bare brick walls a copper splashback, and a chunky island. Cunley suggested pushing the wall back to create more space and putting in bifold doors across the back. I sold them on a dark gray shaker kitchen, a marble island, and bench seating with lots of Caroline's favorite thing, storage. Will the reality live up to expectation? Scott and Caroline chose bench seating and a pine wallpaper for this wall, and the reality is virtually identical. It felt like it needed a bit of detail and a bit of colour just to, just to lift the whole room, and um, I think it does that really well. And of course, the other thing we had to do was to move this wall. It's made a huge difference. Without that, it just wouldn't have worked, so that has just given us so much more space. Cunley created a beautiful decked garden area for outdoor entertaining. And the reality is every bit as good. This is what this whole design is really about. Creating this big opening mm -hmm. and being able to look out and have this inside-outside space. It looks amazing. And Cunley, your idea of raising up the decking outside really makes it feel like another room. It's kind of like the extension you didn't get. What a lot of people don't think about is the view back in, which I think is equally just as spectacular, isn't it? Really, wow. I love it, guys. I kind of want to move in. I love it. <laughs>